I'm, I'm originally from Ireland. I come from a community called Dundalk, where I was, you know, working class background. I was the first of my family to go to university. I'm really passionate about the idea that what we do within a university needs to matter. I've become much more interested in thinking about how climate change and it initially affected landscapes, but now how it affects people and communities. The situation that's happening with the shifting ground because of maybe thawing permafrost, you see how that's really degrading the houses. So when we talk about, for instance, through the Arctic Inspiration Prize, building healthy homes, we're also talking about you know, energy security in these communities. You know, they suffer 20, 30 power outages every winter. This is winter time when it's minus 40 outside. It's also the energy insecurity up there. Basically, people aren't able to heat their homes, so they basically cut one half of the house off and don't heat it. You grow mold. You know, 40% of the children in Unatsvit live in a house with mold. But I, as a scientist, can make a difference. I can look at thawing permafrost, climate change impacts, and I can sort of help them make these sustainable decisions in their communities. I would hope that in 10 to 15 years, you'll have grown uh, a whole range of community-based researchers who are incredibly talented, knowledgeable, and lots of them are getting degrees and going back to Nunatsiwa. We just need to find suitable housing for them to go back and live in. But uh, I mean, now would be a great legacy for Memorial University to empower these communities across the north with Memorial graduates and then to be able to walk away having left that legacy.